Good evening, welcome back to uh, Bruce's workshop. Uh, this is uh, Getter Out number nine, um, continuation. This is number three of the series. Um, I've now set up the, um, the tool, as we call it, uh, on the mill and supported on the, um, on the mark out table. And I'll show you the method that I've used for setting uh, in place for the doing the drilling. Um, I've taken two angle plates and I've set them up um, to just to hold the cheeks and position the, um, the tool. Behind that I've put a, a parallel line to support uh, and, and hold the, the, the line of this back jaw, uh, this back angle plate which I'm using as a, as a sliding jaw. I've backed these off fractionally and clamping them up with the clamp uh, when I, as I turn each one and uh, this parallel here is just not to lose direction. Um, this is the, the set that I need, these eight I need to remove from, from this section here. Uh, these eight are fine. Um, there is one more little fella on this side that I need to do and then I will be uh, turning it around and then I've got one, two, three sets of eight uh, more studs to take in. So uh, I've just set it up roughly with the timber on the back here. I'm not concerned that, we're, that um, we have some sort of misalignment in the vertical although I've pretty well covered that. What I've done, uh, this is a bit larger than the dia this diameter here so I've compensated by putting on the other side uh, a couple of my shims and um, those are uh, I have this box of this box of shims uh, from um, three millimeter uh, two and a half millimeters all the way down to um, to the smallest one which is 0.25 millimeter or one thou uh, these are used for for lining uh, for leveling up uh, machines they're made they're made to be able to slot into the bolt uh, and we use them for levelling up um, uh, most machines. So that's come in very handy. These are the screws that I need to remove. They are half inch uh, stainless steel copper coated um, screws and um, I've, I've managed to get the, these nine out and I'm left with, as I say, six, twelve, 18, 24, 25 all up uh, to be removed. Inside this, this tool it has uh, computers inside of it and they're inside of uh, this, these bladders so I've got to be extremely careful not to press or, ch or touch anything here so I've got to be, uh, go gentle. This is um, belongs to one of the, the, the larger worldwide companies um, that uh, do um, uh, deep hole um, exploration um, and monitoring etc. Um, and this morning I had similar type of thing but without the, in without the encasing on it uh, and for that uh, they, they were very tiny tiny screws and this is the size that I was drilling out today, the drilling and tapping thread tap, I don't know whether we can see that thread tap too well, but that's a number 40, a uh, number 4 40 UN and I've, um, I've managed to remove um, 9 of those today and there's another 3 to be done I've ordered uh, special tools to come from New South Wales and amongst them also is um, a, a helicoil set because uh, one of the holes is too large, they've already the customer had already tried to drill it and three of them have broken drill bits inside um, so you can imagine um, something of this of this size that has a drill bit broken inside and I have to get that out and and also to look after those threads and this is all high tensile stainless so we're back when we get going again um, this this job I'm going to use the same left hand drill bit that I used once before and the method will be 
to endeavour to drill the head off and, and thereby be able to unscrew the screw out. Now if the screw doesn't come out because of Loctite or whatever, uh, then I'm going to have to drill through the screw uh, to get a, a parallel easy out in and uh, endeavour to take it out that. The, the previous one, some were, were well oiled and, and uh, had um, anti-seize in them. Others had uh, a high tensile uh, lock, um, so they were much more difficult to remove. Um, so that's what we're going to do because the, generally speaking the taper has got a, f a, a great surface for locking, locking the screw in far more than a normal cap screw and, um, and if those ones that are stuck have been very, um, very highly tensioned up then uh, the only way is, is the way that we're working now.